there folks, Gareth here from Tracy and Madden for Unboxings.com and also from the Mobile Tech Addicts podcast and I have with me the Chromecast. Some people may be thinking, what, that's old news, but uh, here in the UK there are very few people who have this at the moment and in fact it was only shipped to the UK in small bundles over a 24 hour period. So uh, this is the Chromecast, it's a small HDMI dongle that fits into the back of your television and opens up a wireless portal from your television to your computer and or tablet, phone, that kind of affair. Chromecast, the easiest way to watch your online video on your TV. Stuff, HDMI plug-in, connect and of course watch. On the back we've got uh, the support of products, there's Chrome, YouTube, Netflix and Google Play. Send videos or anything on the web to your TV from your smartphone, tablet or laptop. There's a boy on a surfboard. Very irresponsible if you ask me. And down there is a phone. Looks like the Nexus 4. Uh, works with Android, iOS, OS X and Windies. Peel here and a little tag on the top for hanging it on a shop display. Right peel here, I'm going to break the rules and cut here. Just set that blade down there for my son to play with. Okay, we pull it out and what do we have? We have Chromecast the box. Blue, blue, peel here still and blue, white. We open this and we have the Chromecast inside. Fairly simple and to the point. Okay, getting started. Plug it in. HDMI, USB power cable, or a power adapter, which is recommended. Switch your input, set me up, and then set it up at google.com slash Chromecast slash setup. Simple instructions that even your grandmother could follow. So this is the Chromecast here. Fits rather snugly into this plastic surround. Hi. So there's the HDMI adapter. On the back here it says serial number plus stuff. There's a bit of plastic packaging around here just to just to keep the beautiful surround pristine. And then in the end here we have a micro USB cable for the power. Now this isn't as simple as it looks. Um, right from the word go. You think you plug in the HDMI at the front and that's it, but no, you've got to have power coming in here. There's a button here, which I believe is a reset button, but we will deal, delve further in. Plastic, and we get a USB to micro USB cable with an attractive Velcro tightening thing. We get an American power adapter with the USB in there. And down here we have the HDMI extender optional. Used to improve. Sorry, I've got a dirty nail. I do apologize. I've been working in the garden. Used to improve fit and Wi Fi connection. Used to improve fit and Wi Fi connection. Good English, good English. Not terribly sure what they're getting up there, but if we pull this out, we'll have a quick look at it and see if we can identify. HDMI there, HDMI there, so, right, maybe that is to push it out slightly further from the back of the television to allow you to pick up a Wi-Fi signal, because this can sometimes be a bit obscured by the television, maybe the, the, the Wi-Fi signal isn't strong enough, but it's it's difficult to tell from the from the English used here, but it says improve and Wi-Fi connection, so I imagine. Oh, used to improve the fit and the Wi-Fi connection. Right, gotcha now. I understand English. And the product information. What a brilliant little manual. <laughs> it's lovely. It's tiny. Okay, what you'll find in the box. Stuff. Warnings to users. Do not lodge up nose. Yes, yes, yes. Standard Chromecast limited warranty cannot re be returned if lodged up nose. Uh, exclusive remedy if lodged up nose. Please see doctor. Licenses, notes, app. That's just standard bump. 
Okay, let's go fit this bad boy to the TV. Hello and welcome to the back of my television. Here you can see my HDMI setup and uh, some USB bits and pieces. I'm going to take this uh, micro USB and this full size USB and attach it so that it is going to power the Chromecast. Okay, so this is going to go in here comfortably. I have HDMI here, here and here. However, they are connected to different things, be it surround sound, Google TV and uh, a PlayStation 3. So we are going to have to lose one of them. Okay, apologies for the sudden shift as I was pulling out the HDMI cable. I hit the camera and it fell over because I'm a big klutz. Okay, now we have the Chrome cast with this extender on it. We're going to try it without the extender because, quite frankly, who wants it? Right. Chromecast goes in. In. There. <laughs> like so. Okay. Hello. And we take the USB and we plug it into the back of the Chromecast. Don't mind a bit of masking tape down here, that's just holding in uh, one of those Samsung connectors that they made out of tin or something. Okay, the USB goes in there, like so, and that should be us ready to go. Here we are with the Chromecast application. We're going to boot up it up first and see if it'll detect the Chromecast on the network. It has indeed detected detected the Chromecast. That's all on the Wi-Fi now. We're going to show him the apps that you can get from the Play Store to cast onto your Chromecast. No Chromecasts found. Right. Okay, so, well, that's probably because the TV isn't on, so we will turn the TV on. Okay, so we turn the TV on and we change the source. To the HDMI 2 and that should bring up the Chromecast which is now flashing and we'll hit try again okay so we're here we have the Chromecast 7885 ready to be set up now let's connect this to the wireless network set up we're connecting Okay, so we have had to switch over from the Note 3, which was having a few Wi-Fi issues with a couple of Wi-Fi networks I have set up in this area. So we can go ahead and set this up on the Galaxy Nexus. There we have the setup screen from the Chromecast on the TV. And we now have the setup key. With any luck, this will pick that up any second now. Okay, I see the code. Change the name. So we'll call that originally Gareth's Chromecast. Okay, and set. So now it's offering us to choose the network for your Chromecast. So we will do this. And now it's logging onto the network. So it's established some kind of ad hoc uh, connection with the Chromecast. Oh. Could not this is saying that it could not communicate with the Chromecast. It's possible your Chromecast device are connected to other networks. Try again. If there's a chance that I'll have a problem with something, I'll have a problem with something. Maybe it's because I didn't use that interesting little dongle down there. Okay, so... Okay, so it's now set up. My Wi-Fi network went down. Uh, we can... It is downloading the latest software, and we can continue. So, Gareth's Chromecast has successfully been set up. We can hit Finish Setup. 
So now what options does it give us to do? It's currently downloading an update. It's sitting at 63% there. Obviously, they must have gone into some kind of update mode after update. Okay, so now it's rebooting the Chromecast. Okay, so now it's installing the update, or applying the update. It should be finished at some point, hopefully. It's taken just a couple of minutes. It's not the longest wait in the world, I suppose, but it's still going, so who knows what's going to happen after this. But I can't imagine anything, because the update will be installed, and that'll be that. So we are starting the Chromecast now. And there we have it. A typically beautiful mountain scene with the time and the phone should now kick in with the Chromecast. It's got the right Wi-Fi network down the bottom right hand side which is good. So now we have uh, Gareth's Chromecast ready to cast. We'll click that and see what happens. Chromecast settings Okay, it allows us to have a look at the name, time zone, locale. Can we change that? Can we put something in there? Okay, send this Chromecast serial number when checking for updates. We'll do that. Send Chromecast usage and crash reports. That's fine. Okay, so now we can start using it. So we'll pick an app. Let's go for YouTube. Apps for your Chromecast. Netflix, YouTube, Google Play, Google Music. There's a link to install it, so we'll just hit open. And we'll search for it. What can we go for? We'll go for... We shall have a look at this. A little video that I happened to upload last week. Which is an introduction to the... Amstrad CPC 664. So the ad is playing. Obviously we can't cast whilst the ad is playing. If we hit skip ad and then hit the direct TV, it gives us the option. I have a Google TV on my network as well, so send to Gareth Chromecast. And we have... We might have a video at some stage. Can I hit play? Okay, so it's it's playing on here. Push it to the Chromecast. There's a distinct lack of it playing. However, we have a title banner up there. Okay, so choose a YouTube video on your mobile device or laptop to watch it here. So I hit play. Okay, so after much fiddling we still are having no luck with this at all. Uh, if I hit this again, I'm hoping it's going to work. I've installed the little antenna video is not available on your TV apparently that's not true I know okay so if we hit that play perhaps this video will play HTC one max unboxing Still nothing, although we can see there's communication there between the phone and the Chromecast, but it just isn't able to broadcast a video. Even up here, we have 
in the the notification bar HTC One Max unboxing. Okay, we have set that up again. We're going to try and play the introduction video onto the Chromecast. We've got the YouTube up here connecting. We have how to use your Chromecast. It says Samsung Galaxy Nexus Gareth Miles at the top. And nothing. If we hit play here. And once again it's playing on the phone. Over Wi Fi. No, it doesn't. So, I've had a go at uh, Google Play Music. We get the I, the nice background there. I start playing a tune. Nothing. Nothing at all. Although the wee uh, Chromecast icon up there is is glowing blue. If I hit that and I get I get up the uh, the volume. So there must be some problem with the Chromecast connecting to my wireless network up here. So that in the nutshell is the Google Chromecast. I may film an update video at a later date if I manage to get this thing working. A lot of people are reporting success for it with it so it must be something to do with my wireless network in here. Obviously it was having problems with the the Note 3 as well. So in the, in the coming weeks I'll, I'll try and film a, a pickup video but that's what you get. It has some nice, decent art to it, I suppose. It's a relatively small profile device and it's it's cheap to boot. So if you pick one up and happen to get it working, good on you. You're better than me. Cheerio night.